The playoffs in 2011 was an incredible challenge for our team, though. mentally and physically. Not only did the games come close together, we were dealing with long travel, different time zones, so obviously there was a lot to be concerned about going into the opening game. Mike McGee uh, was a player that did whatever had to be done to make our team better. I think in postseason he scored three goals, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, uh, time of goals, you know, the, the, the goal in New York. It may have been a key to a whole a championship effort in 2011. Sometimes as, as the game goes on, you tend to keep thinking about the chances you missed rather than the ones you make. Robbie hit a great shot and I wasn't expecting it, and um, it was a reaction header that, you know, I wish I had back, but to get one, to get one back pretty quickly after to get another goal was uh, was great. I think if you watch the tape, I think you noticed that I was, I was kind of standing to the side and um, not really where all the big guys were standing there. So I definitely wasn't expecting to get the ball. And once David, uh, you know, he took a little touch and I just kind of started to run because you know David's always going to put it in a dangerous spot. And I don't think anyone really saw me run. And it's the former New York player Mike McGee who's done the damage. They came out a little better prepared in the second half um, as far as wanting to play <clears throat> in front of their home crowd. We were a bit flat and you know, got a little lucky here and there on some certain plays. But yeah, I mean, I think once we got through that, we've proved that over the course of the season, you know, we can go through these spells where we do have lapses, but you know, if we can get through that without giving up a goal, you know, we could give ourselves a good chance of coming back and winning a game. Picking up a win on the road um, against New York is hard enough, but you know, doing it in the first round of the playoffs really sets you up well. Um, and uh, as Landon celebrated, I see Marquez wind up to throw the ball at him. And honestly, as soon as he wound up to throw the ball, I didn't even really see where the ball went. Um, I just, you know, it was, it's something that was unacceptable. And I felt like I did the right thing, standing up for my teammate. And, and but at losing another teammate in, an, in another important game, um, I felt really bad about it. It's not how I wanted it to, to end up the beginning of that next round uh, in the, when we were at home with them scoring early uh, that uh, I really I felt I felt a little pressure in terms of uh, negative reaction to, to how I had handled that. They were on, on cloud nine once they got that goal and, you know I think they thought that um, you know we might roll over or you know thought they could they, they could get the better of us. Having that little bit of a buffer was almost too much of a comfort going into the second game and then all of a sudden we're like okay series is even and then it just forced us to play. Our guys never put their heads down and, and, and you know within a matter of uh, 30 minutes we had taken control of that game so uh, again a fabulous effort on the part of our team. You know there's a lot of ups and downs in, in New York while I was there and uh, you know before the series it was it was really nerve-wracking you know I was kind of um, it, it would have been terrible you know if they went through and they won an MLS Cup and um, you know, that, that, that would have hurt a lot, you know, so I was, I was really relieved when, when we got by them especially.